Now, the pressure's on if they allow themselves to sense pressure. I'm sure you heard Brian Cashman. He said, we know we have a good club already. Um, and, uh, and, you know, the job is to obviously look under every rock to see if you can turn up something to add to what we already have. And uh, just, you know, didn't get that didn't get that done but here's the deal but it's fine right? it's fine look th th of course that's the answer is that they believe they're good enough they were in on everybody so that's an admission that they wanted to improve but he said they weren't even close so they were not really willing to dance like you we've got to get somebody if there was somebody there if there was an easy deal they were willing to make it it's it's once again though it's what was available right L like again if it's max scherzer you give them whatever they want a anything but there wasn't anything like that available. Zach Greinke was never coming no, to the Yankees, so they I weren't even an option. I don't know if I want him. But it doesn't, never mind you don't want him. He was never even an option, so you can't right. say the Astros no, stole I, I, him. I, I, the Astros got him because he would I, go there. The I, Yankees never had a chance at him. I, so give me the yeah. next best pitcher. Who's the next best pitcher? Noah Syndergaard? They talked to Brody. I'm sure that conversation went real well. It was basically like, no, nah, not really. No, like, like, I, that I, was never going to happen either. Give me the next best pitcher. Who else was there? There was really nothing to be had. I'm more frustrated with the fact that there wasn't anything for them to, ha to for them to get. That's the thing. There was no market for what they needed. If you don't get the big one, you're dropping off and you're getting s someone middle of the I road. I don't want Robbie the Ray. Well, that doesn't I, change I don't the team. want well, Zach Wheeler. No, I, I, you got I enough agree for those with guys. You. And I've said it all along. I, I'm not surprised today. And I've been saying it. When we go back to Friday, I was preparing you for this. I didn't think they were going to do it. Mm -hmm. But... When I heard that he was interested, that's an admission that we need to, we need to do something to at least create an option. Okay, yeah, they weren't going to find anybody that was going to replace Tanaka as your game one starter, and Severino is still a possibility. We'll find out what happens there. But could Boyd or Ray or Minor? No, Minor didn't want to come. Minor was another guy had the Yankees on his list right. of, of teams that do not want to. But play I for. have to think at least you could have brought in someone that could have at least been an Trevor option. Trevor Bauer was the only name out there that was a legit option as far as could play for the Yankees, could be a, a very good number two considering what they have in their in their rotation. You'd have to put up with some of his antics, um, but that was the one name. That's it, and even that is one of those where if they would have gotten him. It's it's on his good day. He's a good pitcher. On a good day. Well, on his good day. I he's think a good anybody pitcher. you would have brought in any of the guys. If you went out and got Boyd from Detroit. If you went out and got yeah. um, uh, Ray from Arizona. I would like to get Oil Can. Boyd. Well, what that would, be nice. would you take Oil Can? I would Boyd? take Oil Can. Why not? It depends on the moment. But and then bring in bring in Lenny to just start just trash talking them. Maybe get them all fired up. Uh, but the good thing about where be. they are is that they're still going to win this division. All right. So what the what what August first till the end of the season would have been an audition. At least it gives you another option of hey Paxton, pick it up because we just acquired a guy that can take your spot in the rotation unless you start pitching well. Because the one advocate I'll give uh, and the one credit I'll give the Yankees, even if you got Madison Bumgarner, even mm -hmm. if you got Noah Syndergaard, yeah. they're not winning the championship unless Tanaka and Paxton and. Yo, know, Severino come back and pitch well because all, all you did is help you for the one game. Because if those guys are going to melt down and and go and give up five runs in the first four innings of a game against the Astros, you're not winning that game. If and I, they weren't acquiring five pitchers. No, but uh, I'm sorry, it, it, it makes Paxton more irrelevant because if I have two, I'm good. I need two in a series. Two guys gets me at least four starts. So who are the two? It's going to be well, Tanaka. Tana and, and I trust Tanaka. All right, I so trust Tanaka him. and who? Is, 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 well, and is, whoever you got. If you had gotten, uh, again, if, you, if magically somehow Syndergaard became a Yankee, yeah, I'd be a lot more confident in their ability no, to but win. We, we knew those guys were off the table. Paxton so. has a bad knee. He has a bad knee. Right. And that's something that you can't fix that with, like, hey, pitch better. It's just a bad knee. So He's trying to play with have, a brace. It's not working right. out for him. He's not comfortable. So could you have gotten a CC's starting getting pitcher? older. Could you have gotten a starting pitcher? I don't think so. I thought we could. I thought it was. The, that's the thing. And I said, just said we, by the way. By the way, Don, very he's, sorry. He's, he's out donning you right now. What do you mean? He can't get a word in next to Alan. He's beating you down. Well, you, this is like, I'm in the bullpen right now. You guys know. Why this. is it beating you down? You guys well, know we're not, I'm, I'm in the bullpen. I'm not Michael. I don't keep score. Whatever's entertaining radio. But you guys know when I come in here, this is bullpen he's for fine, me. I'm fine. getting warmed up. But I mean, up. You, you come in firing. 103 in the bullpen. Well, I try some stuff. He didn't even finish that question. I'll tell you you think they're going to get a start and you went, no, no, <laughs> no I don't. Here's a secret, though, Peter. Hey. I try out stuff, and I usually use whatever makes you look up. I, uh, all I'm saying is I, I agree with everything that you're saying is that 
you could have brought in a starter to at least challenge that if Severino doesn't come back, Paxton's knee is barking, CeCe Sabathia is still on the IL, that, hey, maybe Robbie Ray could perform so well between now and the start of the, of the playoffs where you say, hey, listen, we've got our guy an option. But would it have been worth giving up a couple of prospects in Clint Frazier? I don't, I'd, like three well, Clint, prospects and Clint Frazier? You, Clint Frazier's got no future here. They obviously don't like the guy. Don't they don't call him up. Don't hate Clint Frazier. What, what I don't if, hate what if Clint there's Frazier. A, it's just, hey, you, what if, if there's he comes an injury up, and you're going to need him? What if there's a... Like, I mean, he showed he can play. He can. He, he, he can hit. Talkman is up here instead of Frazier. But they, right obviously, they, this don't, they, they don't look at him as any kind of future piece. I don't no, think I don't so. No, th I don't think so either. But again, I don't know what three prospects you want, but I'm not going to start carving out a, a prospect pool that's not very deep to begin with. Well, just remember... For the a number three pitcher.